My name is Juan Vioma and this is my pitch. The game is called Project Stitch at this time. In Project Stitch, the player will complete quick time events in order to activate new powers and interact with the environment. This mechanic is active when it steals limbs from other dolls to use its power. If failed, the player is penalized with loss of health. The environment is also prompted with QTEs to traverse the level or to make a pathway to progress. The player is prompted with the bubble above their head. The game slows to a stop to give the player plenty of time to press the buttons. The result of a successful quick time event can be a new power, bridge, or a ladder. Enemies are dispatched in a similar manner. When the power is active, the player has a set timer they can use. It. Once the timer reaches zero, the power is lost and must be reacquired if it is needed. Super Strength is the first power found from a monkey doll. The player model will change and have large arms to signify increased strength. While the player has the, their, this power active, they can grab, push, or pick up items in the environment. Scaling Surfaces is the next power obtained from a lizard plushie. The player model will change and have a long tongue sticking out and green limbs. While the player has this power active, they can scale the walls and ceiling in the environment. The third and last power is taken from a kangaroo doll. The player model changes by adding larger legs and a thick tail. While the player is active, the player can dump, jump higher and have the ability to jump twice. The main goal for the player is to defeat each of the world's boss. There are three worlds each containing six levels. Within these levels, a common theme will play out and immerse the player in the world of Project Stitch. These worlds will be a library slash study, fall season pumpkin world, and a patchwork and yarn style similar to games such as Kirby's Epic Yarn. To start, I will create three worlds and the stretch goal is to add an additional three levels, three worlds. With more time allowed, we can go ahead and make two additional powers. In my opinion, I believe this project can be completed in the allotted time. If possible, i like to see world expand to, stretch, to the stretch goals. The game I will make comes from the inspirations from games such as Decap Attack, Kirby's Epic Yarn, and Busted Groove. One of the risks involved is the geometry of the level designs. By giving the player powers, these can be abused and allowed them to break the levels. By doubling down on death barriers and enforced borders. Another risk could involve the use of QTEs by making this the main mechanic. It is a mechanic that is frowned upon in the gaming space if not used properly and not as often. Thank you for your time and consideration in Project Stitch.